right? And we don't have all the time in the world. It's like, I think we think we have all this time and the reality is, is that we have just like this tiny blip in, in a matter of matter, you know? Um, so kind of like on a simplistic level, why not? I don't think we were put on this earth to do work that we hate go home and be broke and then do it all over again. I'm pretty sure that's not why we were put here. I think there's this old model of, you know, going to school, getting your degree, working until you're 65 and retiring and then getting a chance to enjoy your life. And I think so many of us are waking up to the fact that we can design a life of our own creation. Uh, some might consider it to be a calling on this generation. You know, we are being called forth to do our highest work. Because I really believe that we have all been put here for a purpose and there are gifts and skills that we can give out to the world and the more we align with what we love, we'll love doing it and people will love it because they'll pick up our energy. The more people that are hooking into exactly what we're doing and watching these clips and, and just jumping on board going, yeah, that's what I want for me, then we create change in the world. That is what the Do What You Love revolution is all about because by sharing your passions, your gifts, your special knowledge, your brilliance, you're going to inspire others. I believe that every single one of us is here to have a powerful, positive impact on the world and to help each other. And so each one of us is a piece of that puzzle where we support each other and we encourage each other and we inspire each other all moving towards a similar goal which is a better place a better experience and that when you do work that you love you are going to be most fulfilled and you're going to be of greatest contribution in the world so what the world needs is more people doing what they love work and play can be quite intertwined <laughs> that it doesn't have to be the separation of like here's work me and then here's personal me um what nobody tells you is that your business or your life's work, or the way that you spend your days, all of that is a reflection of you. It's a reflection of your soul. Because your soul wants you to be happy. Your soul ultimately is like your cheerleader, you know, behind you going, yeah, keep doing that. And it, we have a choice whether we shut that down or we open to really exploring what it is that our souls want for us. Yes, the freedom to just be who you are. That's really what it's about. <laughs>